Hey guys, this is Jeff with GenRacer.com and I'm here to talk about the Forge Motorsport blowout valve for the Hyundai Genesis Coupe Turbo. So this is what you get in the box. Um, you have a full billet aluminum constructed uh, valve, a pair of extra springs, each one being a different pressure, and a set of shims. You also get new hardware for mounting the blowout valve. This blowout valve is probably the most common blow-off valve and easiest blow-off valve on the market to install on your Genesis Coupe. Um, it actually goes in your factory location. Um, takes minutes to install. And it's pretty reliable and the main reason is because of its design. So the internals of this, there is no uh, diaphragm like uh, a lot of other blow-off valves on the market. Um, it's just a O-rings that seal um, the top half and the bottom half and the piston um, to the wall. Other than that, um, there's very little maintenance or anything you need to do to this thing besides um, keeping the piston inside um, well lubricated, which is something that Forge does from the factory. Um, they uh, put uh, assembly lube inside um, or a type of grease and just make sure that that's greased up. Maybe check that every uh, two or three oil changes. Um, you don't want the valve to stick or any type of binding, um, especially when it's trying to discharge. So the top half is actually screws on, sealed by this O-ring, the top half to the bottom half, and of course comes with another spring inside that's already assembled. Um, the piston can be removed if you need to be any cleaning. Um, and the top half actually has the ability to rotate the nipple so you can um, put this in a position like your factory would be so you don't have to uh, change the vacuum line. Um, you can reutilize the uh, factory uh, vacuum line without any issues. So then you have the spare springs um, and they're pretty much there for um, you want if you any type of uh, valve leakage at higher RPMs or um, you feel that um, the valve's not opening properly, um, you would either soften the spring or put a harder spring in. Um, you don't want a, a spring that's too stiff that the valve doesn't open at higher RPMs and you don't want a spring that's too soft that it leaks. And then if you want to do any type of fine tuning, you can take these shims and stack them to preload the spring inside. Um, and that will give you the finer adjustments. So since this is in the factory location, they supply new bolts and hardware because uh, the factory valve is a lot thinner than this flange and the bolts just don't have enough thread. So these would have enough thread to um, go through and get mounted properly. Now, this is the newest version of the blow off valve that Forge does. And that is because they're now putting three uh, ports on this valve and because of doing that they're allowing this valve to fit the 2010 and the 2013 versions. Now if anyone to look to notice or see that the 2010 ports um, comparable to the 2013 are in a different location. So since they did this they have the ability to still line up a port and you can clock it any way and not have to worry about that. So no gaskets are needed. It uh, utilizes O-rings for mounting this. Um, again, this is very basic, easy mod to do. Uh, a lot of people like the sound, um, but the best part is that it, uh, it actually does a job and holds the boost levels when you're increasing that on your Genesis Coupe. Um, and another great thing about this is that Forge actually offers a, a lifetime warranty. Um, you can't really compete with that. So. These things are in stock and ready to ship all the time here at GenRacer.com. So um, check us out on the website. You can also click the link. And if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to email us at info at GenRacer.com. Thank you.